Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose. And if you're a returning friend, I hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a very quick swatch video of some Revlon Pure that I got in the mail today. It is super cute and I'm really excited to show you guys what the collection is. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for makeup and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post and notification bell just to be notified when I do upload a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so I was cleaning my house and getting ready because we are going to be going to our friends for the fourth. This is obviously going to be going up after that, but we're getting ready to get packed and all that stuff. And I go downstairs and I see a box on the counter. My husband did not tell me that I got a package. I did end up opening it up and it was from Revlon. So this is what it looks like. It is so cute. This is Sophie, I'm assuming, Sophie. So I did look her up, Sophie, Sophia. Sophia. She was on the Disney Channel for a while on some TV show and she did some, um, I think she did a little bit of singing, I'm not quite sure. This is the Revlon Sophia Crescent Collection. She picked out some Revlon Super Lustrous, the Luscious Matte Lipsticks, Ultra HD Matte Liquid Lip Colors. She also picked out some nail polishes, which I actually do have on my nails right now. I painted them up beforehand because I wanted you guys to see what the color looked like and I've already ruined them. So we have nudes and reds in here. If you guys haven't seen my matte lipstick uh, swatch and try on of Revlon. I will go ahead and put it up in the card right here if you guys do want to check it out. This is the Revlon Super Luscious, the Luscious Matte Lipsticks. They retail for $8.49. The first shade we have is Untold Stories. So Untold Stories is more of a neutral shade. It does have a pink undertone to it. That's how it is described on the website. For my skin tone, it looks more of like a nude with a tiny, tiny pink undertone. This one is called On Fire. This one is more of like an orangey red shade. I have noticed as I've gotten darker that the shade has changed a bit on my skin because before it was more of like a more vibrant orange. The next shade we have is Obsessed. So this one I think I wanted for a really long time. This one looks more of like a, like a terracotta color. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is the Sophia Red. This one looks really pretty. This one is a blue tone red. This is gorgeous. This is the blue tone red that I have been looking for. Now we're gonna get into the other collection. For the other ones that we have here, I've got four lip shades. These are the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Liquid Lip Color. These provide a moisturizing feel and they retail for $9.99 on the Revlon website. The first shade that I'm gonna go in with is the Sophia Red. Mm, they smell like tropical, so it smells like the other Ultra HD lip blockers. I thought that with the initial application that it was going to be like a regular lipstick and not be matte but this is really matte so with the first layer it looks like it could almost pass as a tinted like a tinted lipstick and it's really comfortable it is moisturizing but it's still really matte so I'm actually gonna go in with another layer just to see if the color is able to build without streaking With the second layer, it does come off more of a regular lipstick because it does look a bit shiny. Regardless, this feels really good. It looks really good. It's super easy to apply and it smells bomb. Okay, and the next shade is Forever Yours. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is Wish. Mm -hmm. 
And the last shade we're gonna go in with is Obsessed. Okay, and then the last thing that we're gonna go in with are the nail polishes. I got four, which I am actually really excited to try the other ones because they're really, they're just right up my alley. They're very simple. So the nail polishes are chip resistant and anti-fade, and these are $5.99. The one that I have on my nails is called Obsessed. I love it, it's very simple. Like I said, I have already messed up my nails trying to, you know, I just always think everything dries down in like 30 minutes when in reality it doesn't this is what obsessed looks like you can see it compared to my nails from the bottle and it is true to color the packaging is really cute and then we have the sophia red so this is a red but it is more of a pinky blue tone and the next shade we have here you can't really see it's called in the woods it is more of a burgundy brown shade and the last shade we have is called black cherry this one is pretty much what every other black cherry shade looks like. It is a purpley, deep, deep burgundy color. They're really pretty. So I wanted to show you guys what the applicator looks like. This is what the brush tip looks like. So it's flat. You can make it as flat as you want, which is nice when polishing your nails. But what I like about this is how flat it is up top and how rounded off it is. With this applicator, it is shaped like your nail bed. So when I was applying the nail polish, you were able to control how much product was on there. And it was super easy to apply, like on your pinky finger, on any of your fingers. Obviously with the bigger ones, it's a little harder because you have to kind of maneuver the brush around. But especially with the smaller fingers, all you had to do was set it down in the center, kind of push down a little bit and then pull the brush back and you were pretty much done. It wasn't super messy, it was super simple. Actually kind of surprised at the brush tip that it does have because I had a few shades for them from like way back in the day and the brush tip was really small and rounded so it made it really hard to use the brush tip applicator without the nail polish drying out on the other side before you can get like to the rest of the nail. It's really nice that they changed that up. With these the nail polishes, they're super opaque and you legit only need to go in with one application and that is it. That's how opaque these are. I went in with two because that's what I'm used to. This nail polish is legit. I really do love it. So now we're gonna go ahead and quickly get into all the products that I did receive. Obviously you guys know that I love the nail polishes. We just got done talking about it. And for the matte lipsticks, I loved both of the two newer shades that I did get. The Sophia Red is so pretty. It is definitely gonna be my go-to for the summer. I don't know how many, I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to wear lipstick out because we're gonna have to be wearing masks, but that's fine. I'll just wear it around the house or some, I don't know. And for the Ultra HD matte lip colors, I really did enjoy them. It's different for me. I don't know if I've ever used these before. When you do put on your first layer, it is matte, but once you go in with your second layer, it is going to be a little bit more of a satin finish. Regardless, they're really moisturizing. They look really good. And I have obsessed on right now because it was the last shade that I tried on. It's not seeping into my fine lines. It's not feathered right now which is really nice it's not really moving around anywhere because usually when you do wear stuff like this the color will move around into the cracks over here I've been talking for a little bit and it's staying put out of everything that I did try the wish shade in the ultra HD matte lip color this one was a bit streaky I didn't go in with the second layer because I knew that it was gonna be streaky usually when you come across colors darker colors like this it will happen that's the only gripe that I had about it but other than that the whole collection is really good all right guys so that is it for me I hope that you enjoyed my video if you did enjoy my video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any suggestions as to what you want to see please let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one